So here we are, day six and a half on the project on the uh, park model rebuild. Just a progress report, show you where we're at so far. We've got the entire kitchen and living room flooring in place with the exception of just this corner, a little block to put in that corner. And then some new sheetrock and new sheetrock on the side of the bathroom wall. This is all, all this sheetrock, the new sheetrock is gonna be behind the cabinets. But we had to tear some of that out in order to get down here and uh, get that piece of board from here to here underneath this wall. We had to prop the wall up and slide the board under so that it's fully supported and uh, it was not easy but we did get it done and it's good we had to run a wire from this switch right there that red switch down that goes down underneath the trailer back to where we relocated the new hot water tank and that switch turns the hot water tank on and off that's the original switch and the tank used to be right here we just had to run it a different wire back to it from that particular switch so that's why we had to open up that wall there so all the flooring is done in here this is the uh, heater and air conditioner fresh air return and that box with the filter on top of it sets down in this hole and then there's a cabinet on top of this got the flooring in the hallway all here replaced the new insulation underneath right back to this joy there's a joist right there and then we have from there back half of the bedroom and underneath this closet and the washer and dryer fits right there I know it's dark back there but uh, maybe a light will help a little bit that's where we're gonna start working tomorrow to get the flooring repaired right in this section here the bathroom flooring is, is complete we've got uh, new plumbing the new PEX plumbing for the sink and in here there's just a bag stuffed in there to keep debris out of the drain for the the drain and the trap comes up for the sink and the toilet flange and the pipe that feeds cold water to the toilet the toilet sits right here obviously so it's coming along coming along real nice I think we've made a lot of significant progress for six and a half days worth of work I figure probably uh, maybe four more days to uh, finish up the flooring we've got to get underneath that closet and everything and that's that's going to be a little time consuming but a couple days tearing all that out and then a couple days putting the new stuff in and the flooring will be done so less than two weeks the floors will be finished a real time saver and money saver is saving this shower unit I'm glad we did still debating whether or not to cut that out my parents haven't quite made a decision they're fine with keeping this unit but we're still just trying to figure out if we're gonna cut it out or build a step or what we're gonna do there to make it easy to get in and out of but we'll come up with we'll come up with some sort of a plan to where it'll be nice and comfortable and easy to use and safe for them this is cool a little little cabinet right here my mom was really happy that we were able to save that she really likes this cabinet keeping towels and toiletry items and stuff in there and I'm glad that we were able to save that but uh, man that's a good feeling we put a bunch of extra bracing and so forth to support every every seam in this floor tons and tons of screws and uh, in my opinion it's better than what it was from the factory uh, factory there's no way factory can spend that kind of time and attention on a production model but anyway it's definitely as good if not better than what the factory had in here and this plywood's way better than the particle board that they had in here and uh, 
we had to tear out the sheetrock in here along this wall because we had to to fit these pieces there's two of them one piece right there goes underneath the wall and one piece right here that covers the doorway that also goes underneath the wall and supports it right here on a, some blocking that was put in place to support the edges and so that wall is fully supported I don't think these are load-bearing walls because these are just one by three studs in here but we still had to pry up on the end of this thing to in order to work that one piece one piece board from this joist to a joist right along there to fit this underneath the wall and then got the wall plumbed and screwed it back down so that it's I mean it's rock solid and then of course we got this cut out for the heater vent fits right here in the corner of the bathroom yep nice progress it's coming along real nice hopefully four more days of good solid work and we'll have a f the floor complete and then it's starting to work on some sheetrock and closing this stuff up and then pretty pretty stuff anyway I just wanted to give you guys an update I haven't mentioned I've been so busy since we got here I haven't mentioned much about the van and the refrigerator box and the solar panel and how all that worked it worked flawless on the trip the refrigerator seemed to be working just fine we had it running solid for just about a week from when we left Iowa until we got here to Arizona run solid for a week off of the solar kept our food at uh, 35 degrees I heard a couple of times the fans kicking on to cool the box and so far so good so I can't wait to get this project done so that we can take that thing out on a couple night camping trip or something and, and relax a little bit but this this project right now is a priority for me and I, I uh, you know I really don't mind doing it I, I there's no better satisfaction for me than to be able to help my parents in any way that I can and that's what I'm doing I know it's not man stuff and my apologies if that's what you're hoping to get but uh, that's that's what I'm doing work on this till we get this complete and then I'll get back to doing whatever it is projects uh, with the van and that that sort of thing Either way, guys, I really appreciate you watching the videos and the, the wonderful comments that you've given me. If you like this kind of stuff, you know, my my uh, my YouTube channel is kind of a mix mash of all kinds of different things. But it's all about doing things economically and doing them right and, and trying to have a little bit of fun in between. I hope you're enjoying the videos guess that's it for here so until next time I uh, hope you guys all doing well and take care and we'll see you when we get on the next one